If you're curious about how your diet affects your hormones or you're on a quest for healthier eating habits, stay tuned. We'll unveil the surprising foods that might be impacting your estrogen. Let's get started. The top 10 high estrogen foods to avoid. Number 10, soy products. Soy products are perhaps the most well-known source of plant-based estrogen compounds, known as isoflavones. These compounds, particularly genistein and daidzein, have been studied for their potential effects on the human body. While some studies suggest that soy isoflavones may have health benefits, such as reducing the risk of heart disease and certain types of cancers, others raise concerns about their impact on hormone balance. Number nine, flax seeds. Flax seeds are recognized for their nutritional value, offering a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, dietary fiber, and various vitamins and minerals. However, they also contain lignans, which are natural compounds with weak estrogenic properties. These lignans can potentially affect estrogen levels when consumed in large quantities. Ground flax seeds, in particular, are more potent in terms of their lignin content compared to whole flax seeds. While flax seeds have numerous health benefits, including heart health and digestive regularity, individuals who are concerned about their estrogen levels or have specific medical conditions may want to consume flax seeds in moderation. It's essential to remember that the overall dietary context and individual health status play a crucial role in how these estrogenic compounds interact with the body. Number eight, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, commonly used in various cuisines and as a condiment, contain lignans similar to those found in flax seeds. These lignans can act as phytoestrogens, albeit with relatively weaker estrogenic effects compared to natural or synthetic estrogen. Sesame seeds are rich in healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals, making them a nutritious addition to your diet. While moderate consumption of sesame seeds is generally considered safe and even beneficial, individuals with specific concerns related to estrogen levels or hormone-sensitive conditions may want to be mindful of their sesame seed intake. Number seven, alfalfa sprouts. Alfalfa sprouts, derived from the seeds of the alfalfa plant, are often regarded as a healthy addition to salads and sandwiches due to their crisp texture and mild flavor. However, alfalfa sprouts contain phytoestrogens and comestans, which can have estrogenic effects. These compounds may be of concern to individuals who have estrogen-related health issues, are pregnant, or are breastfeeding. It's worth noting that alfalfa sprouts, like other raw sprouts, can also pose a food safety risk as they may be susceptible to bacterial contamination. Therefore, some people choose to avoid alfalfa sprouts altogether, while others may consume them in moderation, taking into account their individual health circumstances and risk tolerance. Number six, red clover. Red clover is a leguminous plant that contains compounds known as isoflavones, primarily biocannon A and formanonatin. These isoflavones have estrogen-like properties and can interact with the body's estrogen receptors. Red clover is often used as an herbal remedy and is available in various forms, including teas, supplements, and extracts. Some people may use red clover for its potential benefits, such as relieving menopausal symptoms but it can also have estrogenic effect. Number five, peaches. Peaches, along with certain other fruits, contain phytoestrogens in the form of kumistans, which are a type of phytochemical with estrogen-like properties. While the kumistan levels in peaches are relatively low compared to some other foods, they are still worth noting for individuals who are sensitive to estrogen or have specific health concerns related to hormone balance. It's important to keep in mind that peaches offer a variety of health benefits, including being a good source of vitamins, minerals, and dietary fiber. In a balanced diet, enjoying peaches and similar fruits in moderation can contribute to overall health. Number four, wheat bran. Wheat bran, 
A component of whole wheat grain is renowned for its high dietary fiber content, which can aid in digestive health and support regular bowel movements. However, wheat bran also contains lignans, similar to those found in flax seeds and sesame seeds, which have weak estrogenic effects. These lignans are most concentrated in the outer layer of the wheat kernel, which makes up wheat bran. For individuals who are concerned about their estrogen levels or have specific hormone-related conditions, it may be advisable to consume wheat bran in moderation. Number three, fennel. Fennel, a flowering plant widely used in culinary dishes for its distinctive lycoris-like flavor, contains compounds called anethole, which have been found to have estrogenic effects. Anethole can interact with estrogen receptors in the body and exhibit estrogen-like properties, albeit relatively mild compared to natural or synthetic estrogen. Number two, beer. Beer contains hops, one of its primary ingredients, and hops are known to contain phytoestrogens. These phytoestrogens, specifically in the form of prenylflavonoids, can have estrogen-like effects in the body. However, the impact of beer on estrogen levels may vary depending on factors such as the type of beer, quantity consumed, and individual metabolism. Moderate beer consumption is generally considered safe for most people and may even have certain health benefits due to its polyphenol content. Number one, licorice root. Licorice root is known for its sweet flavor and has been used for centuries in traditional medicine and herbal remedies. However, it contains compounds called phytoestrogens, primarily is off-levones and coumestans, that can mimic the effects of estrogen in the body. While licorice root can have various potential health benefits, such as soothing digestive discomfort and promoting respiratory health, it may also pose concerns for individuals with hormone-sensitive conditions. Excessive consumption of licorice or prolonged use of licorice supplements can lead to a condition called pseudoaldosteronism, which can cause high blood pressure and potassium imbalances. We hope you found our insights on high estrogen foods helpful and informative. Remember, a balanced diet is key to a healthy life, and being aware of what you eat can make all the difference. If you enjoyed this video and want more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today and we'll catch you in the next one. Stay healthy and stay informed.